Hi everyone, welcome along. Today we're going to be making a very useful bushcrafting tool, a bushcraft mallet. At this point you may be asking yourself, why do I even have to make a mallet? For hidden things that require a small amount of force, a small stick such as this, that's comfortable to hold in your hand, is going to do the job just fine. But for things that require a bit more force, you're going to need something bigger. Something like this perhaps. So why do we need to make a mallet? We want to combine the best things about this and the best things about this into one object. So the best things about this smaller stick is it fits nicely in my hand, have good control and good grip with it. The bad point is it doesn't have much force behind it, it doesn't have much weight. The good points about this is it does have the weight behind it. So for hidden things that require more force, this is ideal. The only problem is it's not comfortable in my hand at all. My hands will tire very quick. In the best case scenario and worst case scenario, it's going to slip out and I'm going to end up smashing my hand. So, what a mallet does is it combines the best things of these into one object. Without further ado, let's get cracking on making this thing. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a nice stick around this size, which is, we'll say, kind of fist sized, something around that, and roughly around the, around the length of your forearm. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is cut your handle out. This particular stick I've already shaved the bark off. You can do that before or after, depending on your preference. Also, this stick is quite wet. It's been cut for a long time, but it's been lying on the ground, so it is quite wet. Whether you use a, a wet or a dry one is entirely up to yourself. The wet one's going to give you a bit more weight, and uh, I think it's going to be a bit easier to work with. A dry one is going to be obviously more seasoned and it's going to hold its shape better and stuff like that. But it's going to be a lot, lot lighter. It's not going to have that same force behind it. So anyway, what we have to do is get our handle cut out. So you're going to have to gauge where this, how long this handle is going to be. I would say around about half the length is where you want to start cutting. What we're going to do is just cut out three slices. A slice here, a slice here and a slice here sort of almost in a triangle type format and we don't want to go too deep we can always go if it's not deep enough we can always go sawed in again later on once we start cutting off notches off it but if we go too deep at the start you're going to majorly weaken your ha handle you're going to majorly compromise it and you don't want to do that so as I say just pick a spot roughly around halfway and start cutting in So I've probably gone on maybe about half an inch there. Now I'm going to go again. Make sure your cuts line up. Just turn your log around a bit and start sawing another notch. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect, if you don't get them lined up perfect or anything, you can always kind of fix that later. And then go around to your final cut. That'll do for now. So then what you want to do is just choose which side you want your, your mallet end and which side you want your handle end. I'm going to choose this end for my handle because I see you have a big knot here. Don't want to start having to notch that out because it's going to cause me problems. So just look to where, where your cut is. So mine starts here, ends here for that first one. So I'm just going to run up to there and take that edge off to start for the handle. Now obviously I don't have a mallet or anything to hit this for now so what I'm going to use is just a small piece of wood or whatever object you have to knock this out. And then continue on round for your little cuts.
So that's our initial cutouts done there. You can see it's starting to take shape. And now you'll get a better idea how deep you need to go in with your cuts around here to get down and further to that perfect handle size. But already that feels, it's starting to feel good. Okay, so we'll keep going around. We'll cut on a little further each time. So as you go along too, remember to take, take regular checks around to make sure you're going unevenly all the way around the mat. I'm kind of happy enough there now how far I'm in, so I'm just going to carve off the rest of this handle, just about the same width as the top here. Obviously the tools I'm using here is a small hatchet and a pull saw, a Japanese pull saw but you could accomplish the same thing with uh, any sort of saw like a small folding saw or whatever and uh, like a good knife I'm just going to use my small hatchet because it gives me a bit more weight behind and it makes this uh, carving job a lot easier well that's the mallet pretty much finished I'm happy enough with that it doesn't need to be perfect again it's only going to be used for bashing things with anyway so it's not going to stay perfect for long it's just something to give you a better hitting power while having a comfortable grip. Feels good, looks good. Time to test it out. So I'm here, I'm currently constructing a small bushcraft shelter in a bushcraft camp. And for the roofing for the shelter, I'm knocking out small open square notches. So I'm knocking out, having to knock out small half round pieces like, like this. And up to this point, what I've been using to do that is hatchet and this piece of wood here in this kind of a fashion I was okay at the start but my hand started getting very tired and sore doing this there's a lot of force going up into my hand there and it's not the safest thing either it doesn't have as much control I'm hoping as what this will have already I can feel that Forcing that there is way, way better already. I can tell straight away. So we'll get a log here and uh, get a couple of cuts and knock out a couple of notches, see how it performs. Okay, so moment of truth. Wow, couldn't tell you how much easier that is in comparison to just using that stick. That is way easier. Get the next piece out. Easy peasy. Should have made this at the very start when I was making this camp. It would have sped things up a whole lot more and it's so much easier on my hand as well. So there you have it. Is it worth making? It definitely is. If you're building a, some kind of shelter or a small camp and you're going to be doing a lot of this kind of stuff, that's definitely worth making. It doesn't take very long at the most. You might spend an hour on it. At the very most that's really really pushing it out now. It's definitely well worth making. So there you have it. Bushcraft mallet, how to make it. That's all for this one. If you found this video useful and enjoyed it, please give it a like. I really do appreciate it. See you in the next one.